Yes, yes, yes. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Back here today in the vape lair. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is Thursday, which means it is vlog day. Or if you're joining me on SoundCloud, what's in the news, Robin? I do have a, uh, a very full plate. In fact, uh, I had better I had better get my vlog notes out early. There's no time for uh, for lollygagging in this. I'm gonna have two count them one two reviews for you. I'll have uh, I'll have uh, you know uh, timestamps below in the description to where you can find these fantastical reviews. We're gonna be talking about the keg cap. We're gonna have a review for that as well as the Zurich Vapes Rat Tank. Hmm, rat tank. What is the rat tank? What is Zurich Vapes? Well, all of that will be explained all in good time. But thank you so much for joining me again uh, for another vlog. Of course, we have a uh, we have beer to talk about. We have music to talk about. We do have vaping to talk about. I'm not going to have any first impressions, like I said. Well, I might have... Uh, no, I'm not going to do any first impressions. Just going to put those two full reviews in here, uh, as well as uh, we might have some time for some viewer mail at the end. I'm not sure. I don't know. I do have some some information though that uh, is pretty interesting. Actually, I, I don't have any information. I don't have any legal stuff going on other than I wanted to talk about what's going on in Australia, but it seems to have been covered a lot. I will, however, post a link. Uh, in the description to this video of a petition that you can sign to help out one shop owner in Australia. This poor guy, he is getting, uh, he's the first guy that has been criminally, criminally charged for, uh, for selling vaping gear, for selling electronic cigarettes in Western Australia. Uh, I can't do a really good Australian accent. I can kind of do a New Zealand accent, but that's only really from watching so much Flight of the Concords. Um, can't really do that Western Australian accent. But yes, I will post a link. You know what? I'm just going to try to find this right now. Uh, it's got. It's been posted all over the place. Um, maybe uh, maybe Kevin has it on the. Uh, on the VP Live uh, podcast. And speaking of the VP Live podcast, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of her. My good, good friend, Ruby Roo. She is going to be on the VP Live show. I believe it's going to be the next show coming up. Um, she's going to be on it as a guest, as a, as a, you know, as a guest with Kevin and Dino. And I just think that's fantastic. I'm so proud of her. Um, She's just growing up so fast, and it uh, just makes me smile. But yeah, Ruby Roo is definitely going to be on uh, on the next uh, on the next VP Live. Criminally prosecuted for selling e-cigarettes. You know what? I'm just going to put a link uh, additionally to Kevin's show uh, in the show notes. Um, he did a great show. Kevin always does good shows. I mean, Kevin always does good shows. Uh, I just love his uh, love his podcast to death. Uh, let's put it as Australian Vape Criminal. Because <laughs> that's a sensationalist headline. That's what we want. But yeah, this poor guy was criminally prosecuted for selling uh, electronic cigarettes in, in, uh, in, uh, in Western Australia, which is ridiculous. And uh, additionally, in to, to Kevin's podcast, I'm going to post a link to the GoFundMe um <clears throat> uh, to help this guy out with some money, um, poor Vince. Uh, he uh, he runs Heavenly Vapors, and I had posted a link to this a long time ago, not a long time ago, but a while ago on GrimGreen.com. Um, and he needs help. The legal bills are off the charts. Um, it looks like he's trying to raise. Uh, it doesn't say how much he's trying to raise. Fifty grand to cover his legal bills, which is probably not even all of it. I mean, legal bills are expensive. So far, he's raised thirteen thousand um, dollars. If you can help out, help out. Uh, you know, at least at the very least, um, spread this around so hopefully uh, more people can can help out. But I think it's uh, I think it's crazy what Australia is doing. They seem to be ban happy as well as as prosecution happy uh it's it's crazy and not to go to christopher walken it's crazy but yeah uh that's that's going to be there and of course i'll have links uh in the description to not only kevin's 
podcast, but to the GoFundMe campaign as well, to maybe uh, to maybe help this guy out. But what we're going to start off with tonight, um, I have a beer, I have a vape that I am really, really enjoying. I have my Jolit uh, soapbox, as I'm calling it. Even though it's not a soapbox, it's a bar of soap. Uh, I've been using it. Have a 0.7 ohm dual coil build on this Igo W5. Oh, I just got juice everywhere. Oh, yeehaw. Look at that. Look at that little vapor going right there. Um, it's flooded, and uh, it's just it's flooded like crazy, but it's performing really well. The liquid I have in here is not... Namber juice, Shh. 99% of the time I do vape Namber juice. But like I said in my last video, Ben, good buddy Ben, handed me off some liquids from his company, Classified. This is called Fusion Blueberry Passion Fruit Tea. Ah, it's quite, quite tasty. Get a lot of blueberry, uh, not so much the passion fruit tea, but I do get a lot of blueberry. Oh, just epic clouds. So many epic clouds, you just, it's like so many clouds. I'm going to turn the wattage up on this because, uh, much better. Quite delicious, but I have that. I have a beer. Um, this beer is brewed uh, locally here in uh, the great city of Carson City, Nevada. This is from the High Sierra Brewing Company brewed in Carson City. This is called Black Pussycat, and I may have talked about this, and it's an imperial stout. It's a 90-minute imperial stout, um, brewed locally, and I might have told the backstory of this, but there was one time um, Amber and I were living in our old, old apartment, and I had not been, ha been having a good day. I had a, a really hard work week. I had, you know, all this stuff going on with Grim Green and with Namber, and it was just a, a really very stressful stressful couple of days and amber who is uh just amazing she came home from trader joe's with some beer for me and uh she didn't know exactly what i liked or what i was after so she just bought me this because there was a cat on it uh and she likes cats and so turns out that this black pussy cat from high sierra brewing company has become uh easily one of my favorite beers so here's to you mm-hmm and i don't even have a cup tonight this is just full full on straight out of the bottle um i spent the whole day doing uh doing yard work uh i'm a new homeowner i've never owned a home before i'm not used to fixing things and maintaining things i've lived in a condo and in an apartment my whole life so when the grass needs cutting uh the team of uh you know of of, of yard people show up and cut it and uh i had to cut the grass for the first time uh today in fact there might be an awkward, uh, she's crawling in, ladies and gentlemen, crawling in. Jam attack. I was just telling them about the, uh, the awkward, uh, video on your Instagram. You're going to need to come a little closer, honey, to get hey, it on Green camera. Johnson? On your Instagram of me mowing the lawn for the first time. Yeah, you looked funny. I looked funny? I've never mowed a lawn before. How are you supposed to look? Different. Different, more professional, I guess. Professional lawn care people. So I was telling him we spent the day out in the yard doing yard work. Potted me some flowers. She potted herself some flowers. We got some uh, some stuff to make our grass grow because as it stands, all of our neighbor's grass is nice and green. And all we of our grass, gold grass... We have this beautiful sort of desert champagne and that's not brown true. colored Only grass. Only one neighbor has green grass. The rest of them have gold. A lot of them have a green grass already, and it's only April. Did you tell them about how hardcore I demoed with my sledgehammer? Amber bought a sledgehammer for some reason because she wanted to demo. <laughs> and for those listening on SoundCloud, I'm using heavy quote fingers, demo these dumb planter boxes that the previous house owners had had on their, on their deck. And benches. It was like these planter boxes connected to benches, and they were just ugly and falling apart. And Amber, since the day we moved here, was like, I can't wait to demo those, duck. I'm going to demo those. I'm going to demo those. And so today her wish came true. She bought a sledgehammer from Home Depot for $22 and demoed the hell out of those planter boxes, which was great. It was exciting. Was it exciting? Did, you, did you feel like you were on like a TLC home renovation show? I feel like a whole new woman duck. <laughs> I feel like a whole new woman duck. 
Oh, you're freedom fighting for Autumn. That's right. We have not. We haven't brought up Autumn. Let's bring up Autumn. I'm gonna let you just rant, honey. I know so you're real here's the thing. I it it upset me because Autumn is such a good person. Um, she's just rad. She hang out. She hung out with Amber and with Ruby Roo and with the with the with what would what did you guys call that? The living room. It's in the living room. It was in the living room, and she had handed off to me a mod from her store that she worked at. And they have since deleted their Facebook account because they're ashamed. They ended up firing her uh, because of... Called the Vapor Shop in Rockford. It was called the Vapor Shop in Rock. You really want me to put that out there, huh? Mm-hmm. The Vapor Shop in Rockford, Illinois. They had fired her under, let's say, odd... They fired her shady, because she's a transgender. Sh- shady, shady circumstances. Um... Autumn had come to Vape Bash of her own volition and on her own dime to attend the event. And she happened to bring a mod from her shop to give to me, which will obviously no longer be getting a review. I'm sending it back to her so that it's her her mod. She gave me her personal device to do a video for. And uh, I don't feel like that I want to support this shop in in any way at all for what they did. And so uh, I'm sending the mod back to her. And uh, hopefully by the time this goes up on Thursday, it should be in the mail. It was supposed to be in the mail today. We forgot. We totally forgot. But yes, that mod is heading back to her. Uh, There will not be a video for it uh, at all in any capacity. I feel like what they did was pretty shitty, um, pretty shady. And I just don't, uh, I simply don't agree with it. And... You know, the libertarian in me says that they are free to run their business however they want, and absolutely they are. But that doesn't mean that we as consumers uh, aren't allowed to speak out about it and additionally vote with our dollars and support the shops that support people rather than support the shops that fire people for uh, for being transgendered and that... Uh, that just upset me. That gets sticks in my craw. It just rubs me the wrong way, and uh, I don't like it, and I don't support it. So there will be no video for that particular mod, and there will be no, obviously, no future support uh, for that particular shop. Man, it set me on fire. Up. Amber got really fired up about it. I mean, really fired up about it. She called it freedom fighting. I was freedom fighting. She's a freedom fighter. That's what she does. And she, her original, you know, you remember your original freedom fighting? No. Was wearing your cardigan through TSA, even after the guy told you to take it off. Oh, and I just said no, I'm not taking it off. Yep, I'm we were coming. Where were we flying? I don't even remember where we were flying. We were Maybe. flying somewhere. Was it to the second vape bash? Might have been Jamaica. We were flying somewhere, and the TSA agent had asked Amber to take off her cardigan. She said, "He said, oh, you're going to need to take off your cardigan." She said, "I don't think I am." <laughs> and, just, <laughs> and just walked through the security That's checkpoint. Sex <laughs> just here. walked through the security checkpoint with her cardigan on, and I said, "Jam, you're just a little freedom fighter." <laughs> she doesn't. Take off she don't give cardigan. a damn. What the hell am I gonna keep my cardigan? You know, it's funny. I saw a statistic the other day, which statistics, you know, whatever, leave them or take them. I, I don't put much stock in statistics, but I did see a statistic the other day that said. Uh, since the TSA has started uh, this whole screening nonsense for people getting on planes, that the number of terrorists caught by the TSA have been zero. But the number of TSA agents that have got arrested for stealing has 400. Huh. So basically we have a government-funded uh, thief organization. What's they, what are they stealing from us? Uh, they steal from people's bags. Um, there was a video on YouTube not too long ago of a guy who got his iPad stolen and then used the, you know, track my iPad, how you can find your phone or find your iPad. Yeah. And tracked it to the TSA agent's house and confronted him with a video camera saying, I tracked my stolen, I tracked my missing iPad to your house. And the TSA agent just was like totally ashamed, gave it back. He said, yeah, I I stole your iPad. And then uh, the TSA agent got fired. And rightfully so. And rightfully Unlike so. Autumn, who was unrightfully fired. Unrightfully fired. Oh, I'm glad I agree. She's, she's suing their ass, and I couldn't be prouder of her. Prouder of her. That's good. It's illegal. That's good. We'll we'll go Autumn. And you know there is there are there is 
there are laws uh, in Illinois uh, that protect people like Autumn from discrimination uh, that the vapor shop uh, that the vapor shop uh, you know did that they enacted uh, upon her. You know what? Let me just say one thing. Around the corner from the vapor shop, all you Illinois people. Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> all you Illinois. -i, there, around the corner, there's another vapor shop called the Vapor Company, owned by a completely different person. And you should give them your business. You should give them your business. Absolutely should. Vote with your dollars, people. Oh, by the way, Vote with they your mix dollars. their juice in the break room. Gross. Well, that's based on what was told to us. We don't have first-hand account. We can't make these accusations. I'm accusing like the hell this. out of them. We don't have first-hand account of what's going on inside that shop. Only what we've been told. I did. I will say I reached out to the shop owner and asked if there was another side to that story. And basically he said, uh, I'm not really supposed to talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> well, of course they're not. If they're in a lawsuit, of course they're not supposed to talk about it. Idiots. Idiots. <laughs> of course they're not supposed to talk about it. I was telling also everybody about the black pussycat that you bought me. Remember a long time ago? <laughs> the black pussy. When you bought the black pussycat, and now it's become one of my favorite beers. That's the one time I went grocery shopping without you, duck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was. That was the one time. Right. Has not happened since. It's a very nice, uh, very nice imperial stout. 90 minute imperial stout. Very good stuff. What else? What else do you have on your mind, Jam? Well. Before I, looked, I uh, before I get into these reviews, I looked amazing today. She did. She's been. Uh, what's the girl's name? What's the YouTube girl's name? Oh, I've been subscribed to her for years, but her name is Cherry Dollface. Cherry Dollface, very cute girl who does these like uh, vintagey hairstyles she, she, and tutorials. makeup tutorials. Yeah. That's right. She does tutorials, and uh, we're out there eating lunch or something, um, watching her do these. Crazy hairstyles, and Amber's just like, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and so, when I woke up this morning, um, Amber was all done up like a 1950s pinup, like hair, um, which was good for the Home Depot. <laughs> the, Home the, Home, the Home Depot guy liked it. The Home Depot was impressed, and then we came home and she took all her hair down, and we did yard work. <laughs> so, no so, totally worth it, right? Well. I wanted my hair done like that for our wedding because we had a vintage wedding. But God bless your soul, baby. If you're watching this, Jerry, I'm so sorry. My hairstylist. Why would Cher Why would she be watching vape videos? It's a It's a gay male named Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Okay, Jerry, I thought you were talking about the YouTube girl. Jerry and his husband boyfriend did my hair. Yeah. For my wedding. And. They just, bless their little hearts, they just didn't understand what the hell I was trying to say, so I ended up doing it. Well, what are you going to do? And then, um, but it was fun, because I get to go the rest of my life and say, I had my makeup done for my wedding by a drag queen. That's perfect. That's who you want doing your makeup. You want a drag queen doing your makeup. Oh, for sure. That's who you want. You saw if I had, mm -hmm. If I had to choose, that's that's where I'd go with. Oh, yeah. Oh, so here's some downer note. Here's some completely non-vape related news that I haven't told you yet. What? My favorite podcast of all time. No, it's not VP Live, and it's not ClickBang, although it could be ClickBang, but it's not ClickBang. My favorite podcast Hundy? of all time, 5 Hundy by Midnight. Yeah. 500 by Midnight, it's a Las Vegas podcast. I listen to it every week because I love Tim and Michelle. They're um, so sweet. They made an announcement last week. Tim has cancer. What? Yeah. He has a uh, pancreatic cancer. Oh, man, that's not a good one. Yeah. Um, he told this whole story about him peeing blood and how he went to the doctor and he got diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. What a what? I know. I, I I was just like heartbroken. I'm listening to this in the car, and I'm like, ah. And so he has to have surgery. I think it's happening like this week. Um, and so for the 500 by Midnight podcast, they're just going to play old episodes, and they're going to play like gambling with Tim and Michelle. And he said that everything's supposed to go really smoothly. It's a very, very, very small mass of cancer on his pancreas. They caught it really, really early. So hopefully all that's going to have to get done is this surgery. 
It's, they said it's too small to respond to any other treatments like chemo. It has to be like invasive surgery. So he's having surgery. So he'll probably be a diabetic. So, well, he'll probably be a diabetic. Thankfully, his liver was not affected, so he can still go to Vegas and drink a lot. But yeah, that's uh, I forgot to tell you about that. Tim. Poor Tim. Heart goes out to Tim. Both Tim and Michelle. My, it's been my favorite podcast for years. I mean, since before I even met Amber, I've been listening to 500 by Midnight nonstop. We listen to it on the way down to Vegas, on the way home from Vegas. Every time. Every time. And we just love them. We just love that podcast. Tag on me and Yeah. They, uh, poor Tim. Poor Tim has pancreatic. I think it's pancreatic cancer. That's the one where that helps the, if you see blood in your pee. That comes from your pancreas, right? Or your bladder. I've never heard of bladder cancer, but I guess that's a thing, too. You can get cancer anywhere, except for your hair. I've never heard of hair cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of earlobe cancer. No, you can. That's called melanoma. That's called melanoma. Yeah, I guess. Melanoma of the ear. All right, honey, well, I'm going to jump into these reviews here. i got some reviews to do, so I'm going to get those... Get those in. Get those into the uh, into the into the video here. Real fast. Did uh, you tell ooh, about pardon how me. We had to evict ourselves? Burp life. Oh yeah. <laughs> Amber made a great joke. So there was this whole drama at Vape Bash regarding. Uh, uh, Russ covered it very well in Clickbang, which if you haven't listened to, please listen to Clickbang. It's uh, it's one of the best podcasts around. But he covered it really well. And the the the, the proprietors of the uh, what was it what Weston of the Weston Hotel for Vape Bash uh, handed out notes, and I got one when we checked in that said that anybody caught vaping in their room and they set off the fire alarm will be evicted. No questions asked. You're just out on your ass. And we all thought that was really, really stupid, and, and Russ took it very, very personally, and he had a sit-down meeting with the uh, with the guys. But uh, the other night, Amber was cooking, what were you cooking? Country-style steak. She was cooking country-style steak, which was quite delicious, and uh, she set off the fire alarm in the house. <laughs> So we opened all the windows. We're trying to get all this smoke out of there. And then when the fire alarm finally turns off, Amber says to me, well, I guess we're going to have to evict ourselves. And I was just like, well, what the hell are you talking about? She's like, you know, vape bash. We're going to get evicted now. No tolerance. <laughs> no, no tolerance. No tolerance for alarms. So uh, we set off the smoke alarms here at home. And uh, according to vape bash rules, we did have to uh, we did have to evict ourselves. But thankfully, we were able to move back in right away. And uh, do yard work. On the day that I had the worst headache of my life. On the day that she had the worst headache of her life. But I didn't burn the food. Something fell into the fire pit. That's good. That's All good, right, honey. well, I reckon I'm going to go. I'm going to get to these reviews here. If you want the same thing you got last time, I'm going to order Vietnamese food. Uh, I want the, I don't want Vietnamese food. I want what you, I want what you had. I want the fried rice with the, the general chicken. General you said chicken. it was too spicy. No, it's perfect. I don't like spicy food. For anybody listening, if you're ever gonna gift me food for some reason, uh, don't don't make it spicy food. My my buddy Brandon, uh, who we call Meat, my beer buddy at work, he has a pepper garden growing now in his uh, in his apartment, and he's trying to grow these like insane like hybrid peppers that will literally like burn your skin off if you smell them. And yeah, he's all into funny. spicy food, and I'm like. Uh, I don't like spi- I like I don't like pepper is sometimes too spicy for me. I just don't like spicy food. I like my food like bland. I like my wife bland. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> of course, I'm just kidding. I'm so spicy. You can barely handle me sometimes. Haven't you ever heard that joke? Uh, I like my women like I like my coffee. Black. Ground up and in the freezer. <gasps> <gasps> oh, sorry. That's uh. That's Dude, the. It's coffee. Nothing. Yeah, don't put coffee in the freezer. Listen. All right, honey, let me get on with these reviews. I can't believe you called me dull. <laughs> I didn't call you dull. I called you bland. There's a difference. You really think I'm bland? Mm-mm. I you think need you're... You uh, spice things up around here? <laughs> you need to spice things up, but not too much because it'll burn my mouth. I'm going to mop the hallway and lock you in this room. Okay. How spicy is that? That's spicy. I apologize. There's Facebook sounds going on in the background. Yeah, idiot. Yeah, idiot. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to close my Facebook. Order. I'm going to go order our dinner. Okay, honey, I love you. Hey, see ya. Should be done with this uh, very Robert. shortly. I really appreciate you guys. Hashtag and Amber is a super hot babe. Loving it. 
Hashtag Amber is a super hot babe. I haven't even talked about music yet. I have three bands to talk about. Oh, well. Before we even get to the reviews. Well, I could give a shit less about that. So, so uh. On. Bye. Bye. Love you. Hold on. Miss you like crazy. Let me see the full screen. Look. You, 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 you can escape. Yeah, right. So the last time I'm a chunky well, you took fell a, out. Well, you took a wide turn there at the end. You don't need to do that. Go. Eat jam. Make it quick. <laughs> She's so paranoid about being on camera. And everybody asking, oh, put Amber on camera. She crawled in here on her hands and knees to avoid the camera. And then she's squeaking out like a freaking ninja from the League of Shadows to get out of the room. And guess what? Guess what? Really great ninja. Really great ninja. Except she, that one time I slipped up and chunk her arm fell She out. could probably fight Batman and, and win. Okay, Vietnamese food. I'm gonna, uh, Vietnamese. <laughs> okay, love you, honey. I do have some bands to talk about. Flo, uh, Flo from Svoimesto sent me along a band uh, called that I had never heard of before called Naira. I guess that's what they're called. Naira. 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 Uh, spearheading the Spawn. I'll put a link to them uh, in the description. They seem to be a... Uh, Oh, gosh, Gypsy wants to come on camera. All right. Let's do this real quick. Okay, I'm going to throw her at you. Don't throw the dog. Why would you throw the dog? Gypsy, do you like Naira? Oh, Gypsy. For those of you that got to meet Gypsy at Vape Bash, uh, she says thank you. She loves you all. Smelled so bad. She smelled so bad. So yeah, this band, Flo has a uh, Flo from Sfoimesto. Oh, you just want to windmill your head. They have a bit of a Gojira vibe, don't they? All right, Gypsy, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say hi to Ruby, Ru, and Josh. Josh and is hot. Josh is hot. Russ Hole. <laughs> Come on, pumpkin. Come on, let's go get some food. Kind of got a bit of a Gojira vibe going on there. I'll post a link to them in the description as well. Uh, a last, uh, second to last, a guy named Zanger, X-A-N-G-E-R, sent me this other link to a band named Warforged. Holy crap. Uh, I really liked this band. They're on the band camp here. They've got that very old school uh, sort of death metal vibe going on. Just like this. Warforged. Thank you, Warforged. Thank you, Xander, for sending me over the Warforged. And last but not least, before we get into these reviews, a fella named Jarrett sent me this band, Skies of Iris. Skies of Iris. Uh, they're on the band camp as well. Yep, Skies of Iris. Uh, they have one song up called In Mind. Um, evidently, the uh, the drummer is his good buddy. They're kind of uh, kind of a deathy, doomy sort of uh, vibe going on. I, I really like it. And you know what? I really appreciate everybody sending me their bands. It's really oh. It's kind of a kind of a cool way, you know, we have this vaping thing in common. And yes, we all have vaping in common. But some of us are gamers and some of us listen to death metal and some of us drink beer. And so when people recommend me beers and send me their favorite bands, then I just I love that so much because that's another way for me to connect with people. It's like, yeah, we all like vaping. That's 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 not old news, but yeah, we all like vaping, you know what I mean? But it's like, when you send me your favorite band and you're like, dude, Sky's a Virus, you gotta check these guys out. And I might like them and I might not like them, but uh, they have this like slightly coalesce kind of feeling. Anyway, 
So thank you. Uh, keep the beer recommendations coming. Keep the band recommendations coming. And uh, you know what? If you have a question about uh, why your pro tank is burning, keep that coming as well. Um, so right now, we're going to forego any first impressions, and we're going to jump right into some reviews. <clears throat> All right, so... Uh, so yeah, what are we looking at here? So this is the Rat Tank from Surik Vapes, formerly known as Cirrus Vapes, but they had to uh, they had to change their name, so it's Surik Vape now. Uh, interesting name, regardless. Uh, they are the makers of those wonderful Pyrex Cardo tanks that I just I used to love oh so much. The fit and finish was always really nice on them, and I loved the glass. I just loved the anodizing. I basically loved everything about those damn Cardo tanks. They were fantastic. They still are fantastic so this is the rat tank so what does rat stand for well it stands for replaceable atomizer tank basically this is an addition to your pro tank coils it uses pro tank heads on the inside but it's its own kind of custom machined thing made out of what i believe to be aluminum <laughs> aluminum <laughs> aluminum and uh, pyrex tank and basically this comes off like this. Your pro tank head goes in here like this. Oh, fancy. Just screws in just like that, kind of like it would into the pro tank base. And then you fill your juice in here, and then this screws in just like that. And that's, uh, that's really all there is to it. It's very easy to take apart. These two portions come apart, and you can kind of see that this long tube screws into there. You can see it unscrewing just like that and you have a top portion getting texts and you have a bottom portion and you have a somewhat thick uh, soft edged Pyrex uh, Pyrex tank and this is a uh, held in there you can kinda see o-rings on that side o-rings on that side so basically uh, it's really really simple to just take apart clean put back together all the threads are oh just really nice there's no uh, crunchiness or grindingness or anything put that back together like that uh, the only slightly wonky thing is the way that you fill it so there's not much space you can kind of see there's a little area over here and if you turn it around there's a little area over there doesn't leave uh, much room exactly to put uh, to put your uh, to put your juice in there so what I am going to do is I'm gonna get a little pipette and fill this up going to be filling this up with uh, some uh, Gemini liquid because it's green. Oh, and it smells so nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is, yeah, see that even this pipette, there's not a whole hell of a lot of room. I mean, you definitely can't stick it down in there. There's just, uh, there's just, there's just not a whole heck of a lot of room to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this at an angle and try to get my pipette like that and then, uh, and then fill it up with, uh, Fill it up with some juice, and uh, I'm gonna do my best. Maybe we'll fast forward through this whole portion of filling, or I'll put some like uh, you know Pee Wee Herman music over it. So yeah, kind of like that. It's now full. It's not overly complicated, but it's kind of a little uh, a little space to work with. Um, since this is a brand new pro tank head, I'm gonna screw this on there. And I'm gonna let it sit before I, before I actually vape it. But uh, that's the rat tank, all uh, all assembled and together and filled with liquid. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's really straightforward. One thing that I do really like about the rat tank is this Pyrex glass is really nice. It's really clear, and you can you can absolutely see the the volume of juice that you have on the uh, on the inside. And I think it. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to get back out to normal view and uh, we're going to vape this. So yeah, that's the rat tank sort of up close and personal. Very easy to put together, very easy to take apart, very easy to put your pro tank heads in there. Um, like I was saying, I really do, I really, really do like the way the Pyrex looks on here. It's very clean. It's very, uh, 
I don't know, when, when you have the liquid in there, the Pyrex, I don't want to say it kind of disappears, but it reminds me of like a very clean aquarium, which I know is a weird thing to say. Have this sitting on the carbon method, which is a DNA 30, and obviously I'm not taking full advantage of the DNA 30. Have this set to about 11 watts. The airflow on the rat tank is very nice. It's very even. It's not adjustable in any way, anyway, but it is very even. And if you're a fan of the pro tank heads and, you know, that's what you use and you rebuild them, then absolutely something like this might be exactly what you're looking for. There's a couple other tanks out there. I want to say it's the Tatro tank. I believe I met him at Vape Bash as well. They make metal tanks, but Suric Vapes, their quality, their machining is always top notch. They made one of my favorite Cardo tanks of all time, apart from the Vaporfection Cardomator tank, they made their own uh, Suric Vapes Cardo tanks that were always fantastic. I always loved using them. I just loved the fit and finish. I liked the style. I liked the way they look. And that translates really well into this, uh, into this rat tank. Um, I'm personally not a huge fan of the Pro Tank coils, but this one, uh, it's been sitting long enough. I feel like it's, uh, I feel like it's performing okay. It's just a balancing act with your coils, your juice, your wattage. So this is a 1.7 ohm coil as read by the DNA 30. I have it set to 11 watts. I'm getting no burning and no gurgling right now. Just nice flavor and decent, highly decent performance. Um, the rat tanks do come with these uh, these style drip tips. I have one here from the uh, from the old Cardo tank that doesn't quite match, but it's still, I mean, that's green on green. That just looks sexy as hell. These come in a variety of colors. The strange thing about these tanks is you can't buy them on their website, which I... It's nice and uh, whooshy. It's very even airflow for those mouth to lung hits. If you're into the pro tanks, like I said, if you're into the pro tank heads, this is something that I would definitely seek out uh, just alone for the quality machining for the fit and finish. It is a big Pyrex tank, so you might have to be a little bit uh, careful with it. And again, 45 bucks, vape budget hands for something that looks this cool and is machined this well. I really like it. I've really enjoyed using it, and I'm not a pro tank user. I have an I have the uh, what's the adjustable airflow? The Aero Tank. I have one of those in my bedroom, and I have this at my desk. And those are the two pro tank coils that I use. That's all I use. I don't use a ton of pro tanks. I only have two going right now, and one of them is this. If that means anything, this the way this looks and the ease of use and the fit and finish and the machining on it makes me want to like pro tank coils more than I do, um, which isn't a lot, but it want, makes me want, I want to use this tank. And so I kind of utilize those pro tank coils. Here we are rambling in a vlog, which is made for rambling, but I do have that. We're going to end that. We're going to move forward. Uh, let me just take one more toot because this Gemini vapors juice, uh, pretty good what the hell is this Adam and Eve quite nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I almost want to say there's a little bit of menthol in there but I don't think there is so next up on the review schedule this is something I got from vapor craze quite a while ago and it's called the keg cap and uh I love my Helios. I love using it. I wasn't stoked on that plastic cap. It just wasn't wasn't really doing it for me. But I do love the Helios just quite a bit. This is just two simple micro coils on there just producing a whole mess of vapor. So vapor craze, I actually, it was a strange situation. Um, I got on the mailing list to buy one of these keg caps because I was like, oh, I love my Helios so much, but I'm not stoked on that top cap. This keg cap could be exactly what I'm looking for. So I got on the waiting list to buy one, and then uh, about a week later, I got an email, and 
as I was like thinking about, I'm going to buy this keg cap, uh, Jay from Vapor Craze emails me and said, hey, we got a new stock of keg caps in. I'm wondering if, you know, we can send you one for a video. And I'm like, well, damn it. Yes, that's really good timing. Um, in order to get to know the keg cap, ah, just a little bit, just a little bit better. We're going to go into some uppy closey time, which is, of course, uh, triggered by the toot transition. So what is the keg cap? Well, this is the keg cap. Basically, it's an addition to your traditional cap that would go on something like this. I have my Helios underneath, which has been performing uh, just fantastically. And in lieu of using your normal Helios top cap, you would use something like the keg cap. Basically, you just have to line up your holes like that right over your coils and you have this very large, large opening on top, but thankfully, Vapor Craze sends along in the kit these tiny little uh, sort of adapters. And they say that you can just use these as just a drip tip. I find them to not be uh, super comfortable. They're okay, but they're a little hard uh, and a little bit small to get in your mouth. So what I do is I just plug a drip tip on on top of those. And then when I go to drip, I, I have this habit where I just grab it right here and that whole thing comes out. You can drip your juice on the inside and pop, pop that back in. It does have an adjustable airflow. And the way that that works is you screw this top part down slowly and it covers those holes up. In fact, you can make it so there's no airflow whatsoever. Yep, <laughs> no airflow at all. Um, you can do this uh, if you want to go back and forth between like big old lung hits, and with this all the way open, you do get some nice lung hit to airflow. And when you screw it all the way down, or at least close to all the way down, you can do some nice mouth to lung hits, which I'm going to try right now. Hopefully, I don't cough. I apologize for my shadow. That's uh. That's going to happen. That's beyond my control. <coughs> yeah, uh, so it's a little strong. Um, I've honestly just been rocking this full open, just like this. Oh, that's that's probably why uh, I didn't have my, my holes lined up with my coils. So let's line those holes up, and let's screw this back down again and see if I can do some uh, some more mouth-to-lung hits. It's a little bit better, but honestly, truly and honestly, I've just been leaving these uh I've just been leaving these full open and it's kind of just a nice little option of adjustable airflow and a nice uh kind of aesthetically different um for your Helios, you know, if you don't like the way the Helios looks or you want something different or something a little bit more matchy matchy for your mod, this can certainly go on there. It's easy to just pinch, pull this off drip your juice, put this back on, and uh, and vape away. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the keg cap up close and personal. And now we will go back out to normal view. So yeah, it has an adjustable airflow, fits right over your Helios. And for anybody listening on SoundCloud, it's kind of uh, segmented. It looks like stripes going around it, and it has three airflow holes on each side that line up with your coils. It has a very, very large dripping space in there. And the keg cap is one of the ones that I don't have to take the whole thing off and then drip my juice on it. I just, I just do this little pinch technique where I grab the drip tip and I pinch it, comes right off, and you have a big, big, big ass hole right there to drip your juice in. And then you put this little adapter that comes with it back on, and you can use that adapter without a drip tip. I just happen to like, uh, I just happen to like using it with a drip tip. I've really enjoyed uh, the keg cap. As long as I'm using this Helios, absolutely, I will be using this keg cap. Um, I don't have a link to it right now. Vapor, okay, come on, let's uh, let's type vapor crate. Oh, come on, God, what am I new here? Craze keg cap. Gosh, that's like the hardest thing I've ever had to do was type that that stupid sentence right there. 
That was ridiculous. Um, the keg cap is dirt cheap. The thing's only 25 bucks. So if you have a Helios, you can just buy a keg cap for 25 bucks and boom, put it on there. Um, it says it works on the IGO W base. And let me tell you, it does not work on the IGO W base. This is an IGO W5. Does not fit. Uh, does not fit on the IGO W5. It might fit on other IGO Ws. IGO W4, for instance, it might work. Does not work with the. Uh, I have too much cotton here. Does not work with the IGO W5. Um, but it says it works with the. Uh, oh, it comes with an. You can buy it uh, for an additional thirty-five dollars. You can get the IGO W base, which I'm assuming is the IGO W4 base. But let me tell you that it works. Fan freaking tastic on the Helios. If you like the Helios and you want another option for a for a top cap for maybe a different adjustable airflow on there, maybe you like the uh, the ability to drip through that large airflow hole. Highly, highly, highly recommend the keg cap. Available from VaporCraze.net. Um, it's only twenty five dollars, so I can't see. Uh, I can't see why if you have a Helios you wouldn't buy one. Now if you don't have a Helios, keg cap. If you don't have a Helios then uh, you might not want to jump into the keg cap. But it does come with an IGO W base for an additional charge. Um, the keg cap. Keg cap's great. Doesn't even look like it's in stock right now. So keg cap plus IGO W base. Keg cap, uh, keg cap's not in stock. Out of stock. Of course it's out of stock because it's something that's really cool and everybody should have one and that's why it's out of stock. Really, really enjoyed using the keg cap. I've been using it for a while. If you go back through my old videos and vlogs, you'll see that every time I have the Helios on my Duke that I have the keg cap on there. Big, uh, Big swooshy, even nice airflow. Absolutely love it. Don't really notice a, a huge difference in flavor. I know what juice that is. It's Oasis Mist and it tastes wonderful. Doesn't really taste any better or worse or different in the keg cap. Keg cap, highly recommended. So let's end those reviews right now. I'm going to do a time check 42. It's too late. That's it. That's all we have to talk about. I want to wrap this up with one very cool thing. There is a Facebook group called Craft Beer and Vapor Clouds. And it's just a fun, happy little group of people who are just like me, who post pictures of their vapes, pictures of their juice, and then, uh, and then pictures of their beer, which I think is just... Uh, just phenomenal and people don't always stick by the rules they're not always posting craft beer but uh any beer any beer is fine actually it does seem to be all deschutes is deschutes would any would we consider deschutes a craft beer even though it's it's at my local smiths regardless people are posting pictures of their mods and their juice and their beer and that's uh that's exactly right up my alley i'm excited and honored to be a part of this group it is a closed group so you kind of have to request to be a part of it but it's very much a niche like thing you know craft beer and vapor clouds it'd be like uh you know board games and vapor clouds you know what i mean i wouldn't join the board games and vapor clouds group if there was a group which i don't know if there is a group but regardless i probably wouldn't join that but this one craft beer and vapor clouds uh i'm into it i think it's great hope everybody's enjoying uh enjoying the vlogs um I'm trying to do the best I can with what I have available to me. Uh, I am getting backed up with a lot of products, so I'm trying to be putting at least one, if not two, reviews inside of uh, inside of every blog, uh, inside of every vlog, rather. Uh, in addition to the music and beer and jam attacks that we normally have, um, got a lot of stu cool stuff coming up still. The ELVT 
uh, which a lot of people have you you know you might have seen. Uh, got some Vapor for Life Wow stuff to talk about. There is the uh, Segeli 20 watt. There is the Trident version two. I still have the 134 mini. I still have the Gus. I still have all the stuff that I got at Vape Bash. Still got the Mr. Can uh, Hybrid Genesis, the Radix one. I got some clones to talk about. It's all good stuff. It's all fun and good stuff coming up. So really, I really hope that you, uh, I really hope that you like the vlogs because I, I love doing them. I worked all day in the yard, and now is the time when I get to come in here and talk shop and talk vape, drink beer, vape my liquids, and then now I'm gonna go have some Chinese food with my, uh, with my beautiful wife Amber, whom I just love. Um, VaporCon West is coming up, it's shaping up nicely. Got some phenomenal vendors on board. I mean, just top-notch people. I only have two banners on the site right now because those are the people that have paid. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be ramping up for VaporCon West. What did I say? Vape Bash. I think I said Vape Bash. What I meant to say was VaporCon West. Gonna be ramping up for VaporCon West. I couldn't be more excited to see my friends again. Flitzanu's coming out. Ruby Roo is coming out, and that's uh that's all I that's all I care about. Um, I will be at uh, I will be at Vape Mania 14 in the Winston Salem area in August. I still have not decided what wrestler I'm dressing up as. I don't know that I can pull off any wrestler. I don't know if there was a wrestler that ever wore uh, wore glasses, unless you can think of one. I think we talked about this with Mooch. Uh, IRS wore glasses, Erwin R. Scheister. I think Isaac Yankum wore glasses as well. I should just ask my brother, because he's the biggest wrestling fan I know, about who, who wore glasses and who didn't wear glasses. Anyway... I'm going to wrap this up right now because I tend to get a little rambly. We're not going to do any viewer mail. We're not going to have any first impressions. But we did. We did talk about some great bands. We did talk to Amber about the garden and setting off the fire alarms. We did talk about the Black Pussycat Imperial Stout. We did some reviews. Got that rat tank. Got that keg cap. It's all good in the Grim Green Industries world. Um, Toot Life shirts going to be making a huge order for Toot Life shirts and they're going to be up on the Namber Juice site just as soon as they are done. I believe they'll be $15 uh, still. So anybody who got a Toot Life shirt at Vape Bash, just cherish those knowing you're one of maybe 58 people that have one in the world. And soon, uh, soon everybody's going to have them. I hope to have a steady supply of those. Uh, I have promised a couple people stickers. I do have some uh, like four stickers left and two of them are spoken for uh, i didn't realize they would be so uh sought after but that's just uh that's just how it goes anyway that's what i got for today everybody uh let me wrap this up which mod am i gonna grab for are we taking bets are you a betting person it's gonna be the duke thank you so much for watching everybody and as always let's keep on vaping Oh man, this is going to have to be after the credits because I completely forgot. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to a man named Ryan. Ryan designed me a new channel banner for my YouTube, emailed it over to me. I used it right away. It turned out so cool and I'm so protective of my image in that everything that I do graphically, I do myself and I like to have a certain look and feel to GrimGreen.com and GrimGreen Industries in general. But like I was saying before, as much as this is uh, this is my thing, it's, it's public property. It belongs to all of you. And so he sent me over a new channel graphic and uh, I used it and it looks awesome. Check it out. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much to Ryan. Okay, now this vlog is done.